Hi, my demonstration is how to use Screencast-O-Matic to set up well, an interesting idea I found online um, for a virtual lab. <coughs> now, utilizing our school's um, Blackboard system, I am recording this in Screencast-O-Matic now. Um, what I would do is I would have the video already of my demonstration, and in this case, if I were to select something, so if I were to go through and do my video and have a, a demonstration of perhaps on how to use the multimeter, and I would already have that video um, recorded, and it would be a short demonstration in a lab environment where I would be showing the student how to do something. So what I would do in this case, here we see our Blackboard environment, and here is a uh, content folder I have with the labs and what you can do is go in and under the assessments and create an assignment and of course name the assignment in this case we're just going to name this test with an instruction set on what you expect to see and this is something you can add in addition to or perhaps um, telling them what the points system is or something like that but in this case we're just going to say that. Oops, this is a test. I'm going to keep this short just to, for ease. And then what you would do, you would have your video recording already set up of your um, Screencast-O-Matic video file. And wherever you have that stored, um, for this I'm going to use something small because although my upload speed is not that fast. <laughs> Um, but in this case, I'm just going to use a Word document file. And you can see it does create a link to this file that you can also um, embed in your emails or something like that and send out to students so they could go directly to that file. Now, the other highlights you would have in this case are, of course, if you wish to set a specific due date, that would be here. How many points are possible for this assignment? If we wish to add a rubric for it submission details for individual or group and multiple attempts if you will um, your grading options I generally tend not to use anything with that and then uh, display of grades if you have a specific style or something different that you would like and you can also limit the availability on this so with that said and everything's all submitted then you cl click the uh, submit button here And then once it's all uploaded, then what it'll do is a create assignment, in this case test. And notice how it has the direct link, like in this case it would be the video file. So if I click this, it would pull it up for us. In this case, of course, it's just the um, Word document. <laughs> um, but in this, so if you click it as an assignment, now then what you can have the student do for you is go ahead and after they've watched the video and perform their part of the lab, then tell them you wish to have a screenshot or maybe a short video as well of their completed work and then they can add that in as part of this file and then this would be a virtual lab essentially then each student would have i mean blackboard would have control of each student's submission you wouldn't have to keep track of that or anything like that and this would be a short way to do that with um, screencast-o-matic and the pros for that, I mean, as far as like using that versus Zoom, Zoom is the video conferencing software, so you need to have kind of a video <laughs> conference going on for doing that. But this way you could have a camera set up in different spots to your house, that type of thing, and use Screencast-O-Matic quite easily. But that is the end of this video.